Well, good uh, Sunday afternoon to you. Hope you've had a good day today, and uh, certainly was good to worship with everyone this morning. I'm going to read from uh, John 11, and got just something I want to share with y'all tonight, uh, tonight uh, John 11, and we'll be reading verses 1 to 6. Very familiar story here. This is where uh, Lazarus uh, gets sick. And we're not going to read all of it, but you read it all uh, when you have time. And it, it just uh, it's very familiar to us that this is where uh, Jesus raises him from the dead. But there was a verse here that stuck in my mind that I want to share with you. And we're going to read those verses now. Uh, John 11, verse 1. Now a certain man was sick named Lazarus of Bethany. The town of Mary and the town of Mary and his, her sister Martha. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister sent him sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, This, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. What I wanted to share with you is verse 4 uh, that says, When Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. And so that's what was going to happen with the resurrection of Lazarus. Was It wasn't you know, just to bring Lazarus back. But it was also to give glory to God and glory to the Son of God. And I just saw that as I was reading that this week. Uh, and I had not read that. I know I had read it, but it just kind of stuck out to me that things that, that happen today and things that go on today should all directly point back to glorifying God. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you tonight for being with us. We thank you for, Lord, just loving us. We thank you for, Lord, just most of all, being able to worship you and to serve you, the true and living God. We pray for those that are on our prayer list that have been sick. We pray that you reach down and touch them and heal them, restore them back to a portion of their health, Lord. We pray for those that are on our hearts and minds that are lost and without you, that, Lord, something that we do and uh, something that we do through our church, Lord, would make them realize that they need that relationship with you before it's too late. Lord, forgive us where we fail you so many times as we pray and ask these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.